Hello, hello. It's me. I'm back. Um, we are taking things slowly. If you guys didn't see my last video, I made a video talking about where the hell I've been um, and what's going on in my life. Started therapy. Um, have that now. Kind of want to do a post about that on my website and talk about my experiences with that. Um, I am kind of back. I am taking things slowly. I am not pressuring myself to make any content. I make content when I'm wanting to do it, whether that be on my website, on here, or on my podcast. So, you know, all things, each step at a time. I'm still all over the internet, completely shit posting. For those that don't know, hello, my name is Ren. I make videos about books and pop culture. Um, and for years said books and fandom things, not realising that that literally is pop culture. Speaking of pop culture, Heartstopper, that's a thing, isn't it? That's a thing that happened. Um, Heartstopper was a Netflix TV show that dropped at the end of April, April 22nd, even though it should have been April 27th, because that's not only Charlie Spring's birthday, it's also my birthday, and I just feel like I deserved that. And it is based on the graphic novel series by Alice Osman. You're not gonna, that, that shelf there, this shelf with the flag, that is my Heartstopper shelf. Well, it's my Alice Osman shelf. It has all of Alice's books on it. And if you guys have just seen the TV show and you're like, what? It's a, it's a book series? It's a graphic novel series? Yes, yes it is. And you should go and read it. Um, It's absolutely amazing. And so are all of Alice's books. When I was in surgery recovery earlier this year, I read um, basically all of Alice's books in the span of a week. Um and I don't know what happened within my brain. Like, it, they, they were so phenomenal. Um, my brain, like, literally couldn't cope with the fact that they were so good. I have been reading a lot of graphic novels this year. I really enjoyed graphic novels and comic books anyway, but with being in and out of the hospital and in and out of, like, recovery and dealing with different things and not feeling very well, the thing I really like about graphic novels is that whilst they are they can be chunky boys um, because there's a lot of more visual because you have a lot of the images. They're really, really good for me to read if I'm in a waiting room or if I'm in bed and I wanna read something but looking at a whole block of text is gonna be really difficult. I thought I would share some of my favorite graphic novels that I think you would enjoy if you liked Heartstopper. The first one that I want to share is Mooncakes by Wendy Zhu, Suzanne Walker, and Jemet Gill. Um, this is actually the most recent graphic novel that I've read, um, and this is gonna be featured in one of my website posts, which is coming this week, because the main character, Nova, is deaf and wears hearing aids, like me. I, yeah, I when I found out this also had deaf representation as well as being like hella gay, I was like, mm, made for me. Um, and Nova is a witch and she works in her grandmother's bookshop, um, grandmother's plural, her two grandmothers, she works in their bookshop. Um, and then one night there is a white wolf that is found and it actually turns out to be one of Nova's old friends, Tam, um, and they are dealing with lots of stuff that's going on um, and it's kind of everything from there. It's super cute, like I love a book, I love a bookstore shop anyway. I love witches. I love the like unapologetic queerness that is in this book like and how much that's celebrated and also the way that Nova's deafness is handled like so 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 good and like there's little moments in this which like are so simple like so little things that I think people wouldn't pick up on. Like there's a bit quite close to the start where the phone rings and like the interference like sets off Nova's hearing aid and she has to take the hearing aid out and then use the phone that way. And I think it's uh, like that has happened with me like before with having to put a headphone in and I like, can't put them in because my hearing aids are in and then having to like kind of swap. But because you can be deaf and hard of hearing but be able to use like different things and I think that's something which isn't really spoken about in mainstream media and the website post that's going up this week it talks about that and I just feel like this does that really well and it's just adorable and really sweet as well as kind of the supernatural elements um and I love it. Now if you've read the Heartstopper graphic novels you know that in the kind of as it, they develop there's lots about kind of mental health and I feel like Alice Osman does a really good job at exploring 
mental health and they are some of my favorite graphic novels that do delve into mental health and how that can impact not only the person suffering but the people around them and another graphic novel which i think also does that phenomenally is the sad ghost club by liz meddings this is genuinely i think my all-time favorite graphic novel series of all time there are two books there is sad ghost club two um i think i just said ghost and club wrong like that was very clunky I'm sorry and I absolutely love these like it is genuinely yeah about finding your kindred spirits and finding people that are like you and are dealing with these things and kind of it focuses a lot on like burnout and feeling kind of isolated and not wanting to go out but then finding people that are similar and knowing that you're not alone but then also book two focuses on how even people that are similar kind of you have to have a balance within that and like that kind of thing so I think this just does that really well and it's another graphic novel series which I think just deals with mental health and like the variations within mental health really really well. Then we have a graphic novel series which I have screamed about on this channel before because I think it is so 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 cute and that is Check Please by Ngozi Yukazu and I love this series so much. There are currently two and if you love Heartstopper you will love this series. And this focuses on Eric who is a former figure skater. He is also a vlogger and he loves baking um, and he has just started college and is documenting that and he joins the college's like ice hockey team and then he meets a boy on the team and it's everything from there as well as the kind of trials of like college and growing up and figuring you out and what you want to do and lots of different things so I loved this series so much like I, I, I absolutely adored it it made me feel so many different things and I just absolutely loved it so like I will shout about the Check Please series until the end of time. Then we have Cheer Up, Love and Pom Poms by Crystal Fraser, Val Wise and Oscar O. Jupiter. This focuses on Anne who is a lesbian and a little bit antisocial and she is starting her senior year of high school and has a lot of pressure on her to join the cheerleading squad and kind of college applications and everything with that. And then Annie's former friend baby who is a trans girl and kind of has to really keep doing well in school and maintain all of these things in order to keep her parents happy and they can support her through her transition they then rekindle a friendship that they thought they'd lost like their past kind of cross again and it's everything from there and the thing I really love about this is that it also really does go into their friendship and the focus on their friendship and friends supporting each other to just do what they want to do and I think that it's a lovely lovely exploration of that um and I'm glad I picked it up I hadn't heard of it until I saw it in foils so I'm glad that I picked it up then we have Bloom by Kevin Panetta and Savannah Ganachel and this focuses on Ari who now he's finished school and graduated he wants to move to the city with his band but his dad wants him to stay working at the family bakery and Ari doesn't want to do that so they hire someone else to kind of take over from Ari's role and that someone else is Hector and then Ari kind of realizes like who does he actually like want in his life who are his friends who are his people and where does he want to be and it's a really 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 good exploration of yourself and finding yourself and friendship and romance and the thing that I really liked about this is kind of the way that Hector kind of thinks about the people around him and what they kind of take from him and what he's willing to give and like healthy boundaries which I think is something which is not explored enough in literature so I really enjoyed that aspect of this um I believe a sequel is coming and I cannot wait I this was adorable and really sweet um and definitely one that I think you would love if you liked House of Birth. and then finally we have The Girl from the Sea by Molly Knox Ostag and this focuses on 15 year old Morgan who has a secret she is determined to escape the island where she lives she wants to go away from like her family and her friends and these people that she feels like don't really know her but actually her biggest secret is that she wants to kiss girls and then she is rescued by a mysterious girl called Kelty and suddenly things on the island seem a little bit better um but Kelty also has a secret um and Kelty's secret is a little bit different to Morgan's secret but it is also like finding yourself finding each other kind of 
thinking about who you want in your life and why and who brings you that happiness and stuff and it's a really really cute one so absolutely would recommend so yes jumping back on here to recommend some graphic novels to you guys i'd love to know if you've read any of these what you thought of them and of course please leave your own recommendations for graphic novels in the the comments um because like i said i'm devouring them at the moment um and they're really really good for me to read like i've just been taking them into the hospital and stuff which is really good thank you guys for watching like i said before if you're new here then i make videos about books and pop culture so if that's something that you are interested in feel free to stick around all the links to all my other social medias where you can find me completely shit posting um will be in the description as well my website is also in there along with my other instagram which is at a full set of observations which is documenting my health journey and everything that's i hate calling it a journey but everything that's going on there and also if you guys like stranger things my stranger things podcast will also be in the description where me and my co-host and friend emily talk about all things stranger things every week so if you guys want to come listen to stranger things stuff um all of our links are in there and i'm also going to be starting to post on the uh, hawkins podcast youtube as well um I'm posting a few videos on there similar to the kind of content i make on here but just 100 percent stranger things because obviously i do do stranger things stuff on here as well but like 100 percent stranger things on there. so yeah thank you guys for watching and being super super patient with me i hope you guys are all doing really really well and i will see you next time goodbye <laughs>